Hey everyone, so I have a book review today as part of my Sheldon's Literature series and this is quite a special book. Today I'm talking about Sleepovers, which is a Jacqueline Wilson book, but this isn't just any ordinary Jacqueline Wilson book. This was the first ever Jacqueline Wilson book I read. So obviously it's got a slightly younger target audience than some of her latest ones, but this was the book which made me fall in love with Jacqueline Wilson and all of her work. So it's very special to me. For those of you who haven't read it, it focuses on five girls. Amy, Bella, Chloe, Daisy and Emily. They are the alphabet girls because their names make up A, B, C, D, E. And they're all best friends. Apart from Chloe, this one here, she is a right madam. You know, she's she has to be the best. She thinks every, everything that she does is better than everybody else. But they, they put up with it. Well, they don't put up with it forever. Um, the main character in this is the narrator, um, Daisy. So it's told entirely from her point of view and she's the newest of the alphabet girls she's the newest there so she, she's especially disliked by chloe because you know she comes along and just barges in basically she doesn't but that's how chloe sees it as and the book entirely revolves around sleepovers as you can see there their birthdays are all very closely together so they basically have sleepover 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 so they each have a sleepover at the person's house when it's their birthday and, you know, Amy has a sleepover and it's really good. Bella has a sleepover and it's good. And it goes on and on and on. Chloe has a sleepover and it's... It's hard. You know, the other girls don't mind it. But Daisy's worried that Chloe's going to play tricks on her and really ruin it. Because Chloe just doesn't like Daisy at all. And, well, I'm not going to tell you what happens, obviously. But some things you'd expect happen. And some of the things are like, why would you do such a thing? That's horrible. So I really dislike the character of Chloe, I really want to punch her little face. Then at the very end, it's time for Daisy to have a sleepover because her birthday is last. And then something you should know about Daisy is that she has a sister who is, who her mind is younger than her actual age. Um, so, you know, her abilities to be a normal, a normal teenager are not quite there. You know, she needs help, she needs care. And some of the girls don't actually understand that. Most of them do, but, you know, Chloe... Hmm, Chloe's Chloe. She doesn't care less if this if this teenager's acting like a child, you know. She doesn't understand. And it's quite upsetting and Daisy was especially worried about this because she would worry they'd make fun of her because of her sister. And I think that it adds in an extra problem there. Obviously you have the problem that one person in the group doesn't like her, the problem that they all have to get along. And then Daisy has this additional problem which I think a lot of people deal with. You know, having a, a sister or a brother with a disability is sadly quite a common thing and I know a lot of people are ashamed by it they shouldn't be but there are some really nasty people out there who will tease not only the, the disabled but somebody related to them just because they can and because they want to and it gives them an excuse to do it and it's very unacceptable and Daisy worried that they'd all make fun of her because she hadn't really told anybody about her sister at this point but the sleepover goes ahead and I'm, I'm going to let you read it to find out what happens it's quite interesting what happens it's Kind of what I expected, but to a greater extent. Plus there are some funny bits in there as well. It is really quite amusing, which is great. So it is definitely, definitely, definitely worth a read. As I said, it is the first book, Jackson Wilson book, I ever read. So it was a great introduction. The Nick Sherratt illustrations are as perfect as always. The the writing size is not, it's not too tiny, so it's not going to take them a massive length of time to get through it. The illustrations, oh look at that chocolate, I want the chocolate now, you know, it is, it is really, really great. This copy I actually bought from like a charity shop, well it actually was a charity table in the middle of a shop. Um, the, the, the new cover is slightly different, it's slightly more pink. I want to get the new cover because this one's just tatty and minging. But yeah, it is definitely worth a read, even if you're below, um, below, even if you're above the target audience, it's still worth a read as a really nice little review, a uh, little review, a little book, I'm talking rubbish. Okay, what I'm trying to say is, read it, regardless of what age you are, because you will bloody love it. It's fantastic. It's really light and fluffy, really lovely to get through, and it's just brilliant. Please feel free to leave comments on this or anything else, and that's it for just now, so I'll see you all next time. Bye!